Hi everybody, I'm Dude Long Couch, and welcome to The Last of Us Left Behind. This is the story DLC that came out for The Last of Us, and it is the remastered version that I'm playing on the PlayStation 4. Came out with the main game all on one disc, fantastic value, I suggest you pick it up. So guys, uh, as you can see here, this is a side story set during the events of The Last of Us, but that's really kind of only half the story. It's also a prequel that takes place before all the events of the main title. It's not really a spoiler because you're going to see that pretty much as soon as we get into it. And as you can see, it's recommended only for players who have completed the main story. So if you haven't played the game or watched my Let's Play of the main title, this is probably not what you want to be watching right now. I do recommend that you uh, see the main title first. If you've already seen that, then this is a fantastic addition, one of the best pieces of DLC I've ever played. And to be honest with you, um, this isn't the full story either. There was a set of prequel comics that came out uh, in 2013, I believe, and they actually tell a brief story even before this piece of DLC, and I will re recap that for you very quickly here. It starts out with Ellie uh, taking a bus to the boarding school, and she meets this girl named Riley, and they kind of uh, become friends, but also kind of enemies. Uh, I think Riley stole something from Ellie, and then Ellie went and got it back. At some point, she uh, hears Riley sneaking out of the uh, school area at night, and Ellie decides to go with her. They go to an abandoned mall and meet Riley's friend, this old guy named Winston. Winston teaches Ellie how to ride a horse. And then at some point, um, there's an explosion, and the Fireflies are in a fight with the military. Riley is actually wanting to join the Fireflies because you find out that all the kids get conscripted into the military police at age 16 and Riley does not want to do that. So they go and try to help out the Fireflies and it's a whole big thing, but basically what happens is they end up meeting Marlene, who you know from the main title, and Marlene ends up giving Ellie a letter from her mother and the knife that used to belong to her mom because it turns out that Marlene knew Ellie's mother, whose name was Anna, back before she died. And Marlene has kind of been looking out for Ellie behind the scenes this whole time. So that's how she meets her friend Riley. That's how she meets Marlene. And um, that's pretty much all you need to know going into this. You don't even really need to know that, but there's a little bit of extra context for you. So enough rambling from me. Let's get this shit started. There's a pretty cool feature in Left Behind to get the full effect. We recommend you connect to Facebook. Signing in allows the game to post to your wall. Uh, yeah. Uh, this isn't exactly necessary. I, I completely forgot about this, to be honest with you. It's not necessary for the game, but it is a cool feature. Let's go ahead and do this. I'll cut this out if it shows my password or anything. <laughs> go ahead and allow that. Allow that to... Awesome. That was easier than I thought it would be. Okay, here we go. Would you like to see tutorial pop-ups during your playthrough? No, nah, I don't think I need those. And we'll play on hard, just like we did the main title, because we're hardcore like that. New game data. I kind of forgot that the first time you load this game up, there is a pretty lengthy-ass gnarly loading screen. So I'm just going to sit here and ramble while this thing gets its ass in gear. I already mentioned that this is one of the best pieces of DLC I have ever played in my life. Now granted, I haven't played a whole lot of DLC, but of the ones I have played, this one just does a great job of adding a little more context to the story and giving you greater insight into Ellie's character. What? Fireflies? Get down! Oh. What the fuck are these guys? Stay the fuck back! Joel! Put your arm around me! Come on. I think we're safe. Joel? Joel? Shit. Joel, 
So it was exactly at that point in the main game where uh, it just kind of faded out and we skipped an entire season. That was the end of August and we went straight to winter. And now we're kind of going back in time. Kind of awesome. It's a great way to get yourself You're not stabbed. Kill me, are you? I haven't seen you, and I don't even know how long. Forty-five days. Well, forty-six technically. Want to know what I've been up to? All this time, I thought you were dead. Yeah. Here. Look. No way. Still no roommate? I had to sleep under Liz for three years, and you know how bad that girl smelled. You're a firefly. <laughs> it's pretty cool. You still have it up. What? What are you doing? I'm making sure I don't get caught with a firefly in my room. Relax. There are no soldiers on the entire floor. Here, congrats. Hey. Are we cool? Are we cool? I disappeared and you're mad. Yeah. And I owe you an explanation. Let's get out of here and I'll tell you all about it. It's almost morning, and I have military drills. You know, where we learn how to kill fireflies. Put some pants on and let's go. Do I have to put pants on? Dumb. I'm not a huge fan of pants. Oh, come on. When have we ever gotten into trouble? I'm not wearing any pants right now. Shit. Come on, give me some. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna put you on your side. <clears throat> Jesus. Yikes, dude. <gasps> Stitch you up, okay? Callus, keep an eye on him. The horse is like, uh, you know I'm a fucking horse, right? I'll be back in a flash. Promise. The Last of Us Left Behind. I don't know where she got that from. I totally got this. Alright, now where the fuck do I go? Alright, in control. So if your memory's terrible, I already kind of mentioned this, but uh... This is taking place... Right after the events of Joel falling onto that, um piece of rebar at the end of the fall season and before we you know made our way to that lodge resort whatever it was so there's a real sense of urgency here if you remember there were guys that showed up at the university and just started shooting first didn't even ask any questions just tried to murder us so we gotta find stuff to help Joel and we've got to avoid those guys too let's see we got half health 
We've got absolutely fucking nothing. We are we are flying blind here, guys. And I've got no things to make stuff with. Artifacts, no pun intended. Oh, all the joke books. <laughs> That's awesome. Sam's robot. Riley's pendant. The Walkman. Oh, you know what? That was an item in the uh, in the comics. Riley stole the Walkman from us, then we went and got it back from her. That was how we met. Oh, and it's the note from Mom. You know what? I don't think this was in the comic. We never actually got to read this, and I didn't know it was in here. Holy shit, guys. Okay, we, we gotta do this. I'm going to share a secret with you. I'm not a big fan of kids, and I hate babies. <laughs> That's correct. And yet, I'm staring at you, and I'm just awestruck. You're not even a day old, and holding you is the most incredible thing I've done in my life. A life that is about to get cut a little short. Marlene will look after you. There's no one in this world I trust more than her. When the time comes, she'll tell you all about me. Don't give her too much of a hard time. Try not to be as stubborn as me. I'm not going to lie. This is a pretty messed up world. It won't be easy. The thing you always have to remember is that... Uh, what? Oh, there's more in the back. Life is worth living. Find your purpose and fight for it. I see so much strength in you. I know you'll turn out to be the woman you're meant to be. Forever, your loving mother, Anna. Make me proud, Ellie. Guys, I think that's the first time I ever actually read that letter, and it's because I just wanted to go in here and show you all this shit. Oh, and they, see, they, they're smart. They brought, they gave us the uh, photo that we stole for Joel, but we haven't given it to him yet, so it should be in our inventory. Very, very cool. Also, that is a cool statue. I don't know about you guys, I would put that in my living room. Or my bedroom. I'd put it anywhere in my house, I don't really care. I just want it. I don't know what it is about malls. This game, when it comes to like... All the backstory and prequel stories, they always, like, they always take place in a mall. I guess it is a pretty good setting for, like, post-apocalyptic stuff. Oh shit, you guys hear that? Oh, I just heard a distinct clicking sound. No doubt about it. Okay, that one's pretty cool too. Which one do you guys like more, this one? Or the one with the guy on the horse? Archery's pretty badass. I think I like archery more than horse riding, so I'd probably have to go with this one here. Of course, if you can combine the two, then you're in pretty good shape. Um, hold on a second. Now we have a brick. What do you want me to look at? Weston's Pharmacy. Oh, that sounds promising. Alright, cool. Well, actually, can I interact with this at all? Stupid combination lock. Alright. Gotta find a combo somewhere. And can't go through there just yet. Still have our flashlight. That's helpful. What the hell? Did you just swallow the pills and leave the bottle? <laughs> oh boy. What's this? Thank you for visiting Weston's. That's creepy. I would knock that thing down just so she wasn't looking at me. Ah, there's another one. Too bad I can't knock it over. Nope. Ooh, there's something to read. Please read. Pharmacist, Pharmacist went crazy and attacked me. I hit him pretty hard. He's unconscious. I locked him in the American Princess store next door. Please get him help. Okay, so we got the combination, but if you just left a guy in there, who know he could be infected. Who knows? Of course. 
Everything's picked clean. Of course. And we're on hard mode, so we're not going to find shit. I think this DLC was actually designed to be a little bit harder in the first place. So playing on hard mode is probably going to be a little harder than hard mode was in the main game. And that basically means that we are good and fucked. Alright. See what's in here. There's no way around it. 35 right, 3 left, 31 right. That worked. Spores. Go ahead and fucking do there it. are infected. <sighs> hey, stuff! Finally. Not enough stuff to really do anything with, but stuff nonetheless. I don't exactly remember how long this DLC is, but as you can see, they kind of throw you right into the fire here, right from the start. God, yuck. Yikes. I kind of want to knife that guy in the head just to make sure. I guess he'd be up and moving around if he was still alive. Oh, man. Don't come to life, don't come to life. Okay. Fuck. God damn it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Key. Pharmacy. Let's do it. Oh man. What is that? What does that say? Share and go. <laughs> Think about me while I'm off. I'll be missing you, but not too much, Laura. But not too much. It's a rude thing to say. Let me just make sure we've picked this place clean. As ever, guys, we gotta make sure that we wall crawl as much as we can. Don't leave any supplies behind. We already got that stuff back there. Oh, are you kidding me right now? Okay, well, we still got listen mode at least. And we have a knife, so as long as we're smart, we can take this fucker out. Just gotta play it cool. Have the brick at the ready. Okay. Let him come to us. I don't want to leave you alive. Yeah! Flawless victory. And I hope he drops something for us. Give me that alcohol, bitch. I don't know why he's carrying a bottle of alcohol with him. Not even the good alcohol, just rubbing alcohol. But whatever. All right, now, I don't know what this key was for. Maybe this door in the back here? Aha. That's convenient. Hang in there, Joel. Alright, hold on a second. Before we go there, we're gonna loot, obviously. Uh. 
And that was totally productive. Great. Okay, don't want to drop down there. Hold on a second. Do these both lead to the same place? Let's, let's steer wide. I don't think it actually mattered. Yeah, it didn't matter at all. That's kind of weird. Normally when they give you two different paths like that, like there's a good reason for it. Maybe they're just trying to play mind games with me right now. Oh shit. Chief Warrant Officer Larry Caulfield died bravely this afternoon. We were flying back to the QZ when our patient turned. It must have been spores because none of us saw the bite. The patient broke through the restraints and fell upon our pilot. W.O. Sean Brendan. Even with the helicopter spinning out of control, Officer Caulfield fought the infected patient, saving our lives. We crashed in a rural Colorado mall. Private Eugene Ellis, Officer Caulfield, and I were the only survivors. In subduing the affected, Officer Caulfield was bitten on the neck. He immediately showed us the bite and accepted his fate. I executed the infection protocol before Officer Caulfield could turn it into uninfected. May he rest in peace. Good job, guys. You were brave. You did it right. Much respect. Ah, no sutures. Well, at least I can use this. What the hell did we even get? Roll bandages, I guess. Crap-ass bandages. Better than nothing. Here we go. 